hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to inherit or how to override a method which is already inherited inside Odoo source code so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 14 community edition and this method can be applied across all the Odoo versions like 15 and upcoming 16 and in the previous versions like 13 and Odoo 12 so what we will be trying to do is that here I will show you a sample so currently I have opened Odoo sales application and here we have a confirmed sale order you can see this quotation is confirmed into a sale order and now if I try to delete this quotation or sale order you will be receiving a warning like you cannot delete a send quotation or a confirmed sale order you must first cancel it so let's take a case where we have to allow is the system to delete a confirmed sale order so in that case we have to bypass or we have to check from where this condition is raised and we have to make necessary code adjustment so if I copy this error message which we have received in the UI I'll copy this and if I go to the pie charm so here you can see I have already opened Odoo 14 and here we have Odoo 14 source code so what I'll do is that I'll find in path and I will enter the copied message and here you can see this validation error has been raised from a unlink method inside Odoo sales application so our need is to we have to remove this validation so what now we will do we cannot override this method because this is Odoo unlink method we cannot override so the case just you need to understand here this is unlink method which is already inherited you can see there is super call so if I copy similarly and if I put it inside our custom module so here we have OM which is my custom add-ons path and here we have OM hospital module and in the models folder so this is our custom module and here we have sale.py where we already have inherited sale.order model so here you can see this is sale.order model and if I rewrite this function here just if you copy this and put here and you may think we can just do like this but this won't do the thing because this will get executed and the execution will reach here and the warning will be getting raised so here I have just copied that function and I have changed the or I have just removed the validation error simply I have removed it like this and to ensure the call is or code execution reach here I'll put a print statement and if I restart the service let's see what happens so here we have the Odoo log I'll delete the log and if I come to the UI and let me try deleting again you can see still we have the same error and you can see this also getting executed that is if we do like this like this copy pasting both the function will be getting executed and the validation error will get raised from here so what we have to do is that the code execution should not reach here just we need to copy this function and it has to execute only here so let's see how we can do that so in order to achieve that what we have to do is that we have to write like this from it's like an import from odoo.addons we are importing this class so here we have a class called sale order this is the class we will import this class using from odoo addons sale models like from odoo and add-ons then what is the path sale module from Odoo add-ons sale then which mod folder models dot sale because this is the path we can see sale model sale then I'll import the class corresponding class here is sale order so I'll import that so as we already have a class sale order here inside this one I'll put import as Odoo sale order just I'll put as as Odoo sale order because we already have used here so you can either change the name here and keep it as sale order or you can do as follows so simply I have imported that class from odoo.addons.sale.models.sale import so if your file is inside different folder maybe inside controllers instead of model have to put controllers so just path to that 
class so we have successfully imported this class and here we have the class now i'll copy this and instead of this class i'll put the imported class now let's see what happens now i'll just restart i'll restart and let's see whether the code execution reaches this warning or not so as we have made the change now the code execution will not reach inside that function this unlink function so if i search unlink copy inside this here we, we this is the original function now this will not get executed now let's confirm so i'll come here and i'll try to delete again that is so 0019 i'll click on ok and you can see that get deleted from the system only this code has been executed this piece just we copy that and replaced here without this function so this is how we can override or this is how we can rewrite a function which is already inherited inside odoo source code just import using the path from odoo and specify its path and replace that class so this is one method which we can follow so other method is we can follow this in most case and i'll give you one more case also you can put like this here you have here you have odoo sail order so here i'll put like odoo sail order dot unlink equal to unlink and what i'll do i'll copy this and i'll put here so let me arrange the indentations and remove unnecessary lines i can do as follows also that is odoo dot sail order inside this class i'm replacing this function with the function that i am re written here so you can write as follows also inside this class we have an unlink which is replaced by this unlink so even if we write like this also this will work so i have just restarted the service so let's go to the ui and let's take a confirmed sail order so here we have quotation i'll click on confirm now it is confirmed is so 0020 and let me click on delete button and see what happens so here we have an error yeah i understood so here instead of sail order we have to put this class and let's see what happens so how just change that and click on okay you can see it get deleted so this is how we can achieve this so if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by sharing the video with your odoo friends and your colleague and please feel free to comment and support us by joining us in the channel so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you